Hi, hello and welcome back to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, I'll show you how you can build a compact yet interesting looking ultrasonic sensor based digital ruler like this one. So as you can see, this is a simple device which you can use to measure the distance from any object ahead of it. Now in this case, the device is already in working state and as you can see, it's measuring a distance of 25 centimeter, meaning there is an object which, uh, 25 centimeter ahead of it. Now let's say I keep my hand in front and you can see the distance getting changed already it says 15 centimeter and if i bring it closer you can see the distance getting reduced and if i take it farther you can see the distance getting increased and if i take my hand away it goes back to the 25 centimeters uh, which it initially showed because that is actually an object ahead of it now this is a compact and interesting looking device which is powered using the 80 tiny 85 chip which you can see inside over here and the complete device is powered using a 9 volt battery so that we can make it portable. So this is kind of an interesting device which you can carry it around and use to measure distance from any object like a digital ruler. Interesting right? So let's see how to build this one. So in this video, I'll show you how the entire schematics for our project works and also show you how I designed and fabricated the PCBs for this project. In the end, I'll also assemble this board and show you how the entire thing works. But before we get there, it is important for me to mention the sponsors for this video, PCBWay. PCBWay provides high quality and cost effective PCB prototype and fabrication services. They are well equipped to handle standard and advanced PCB designs and can also provide SMD stencil and PCB assembly services. They are known for their shorter lead time and customer service and also supports the maker community. So do consider giving them a try for your next PCB. Now before we get into the circuit diagram, let's take a look at our hardware to see what all components are present on it. To just show you what is inside, I'm going to power this device down. And I'm going to remove this display and the ultrasonic sensor so that we can have a clear look of the board. So here as you can see this is our PCB which is a very simple one to build. As you can see there are very few components on it if you want me to name it. This is the 80 tiny 85 controller, this is the AMS 11175 volt regulator and few pull up resistors are over here. And on the back side, we have a header pin for programming our 80 tiny 85 controller and two more headers here to power the whole board. Now, uh, before I get into how everything works, let's take a look at the circuit diagram and compare this hardware along with the circuit diagram to understand how the entire thing works. Now, here we are back with our circuit diagram and the board, which I just explained to you. Now, if you look at the circuit diagram, it's pretty simple. The main controller over here is the 80 tiny 85 microcontroller, which can be programmed by the Arduino IDE. And we have two important components, which is the OLED display, which is this one, and the ultrasonic sensor, which many of you would be familiar with already because it's a most commonly used ultrasonic sensor called HCSR04. So these are the two main important components in this project. As you can see, the ultrasonic sensor communicates using I2C communication. So we have used the SDA and SCL pins connecting to the SDA and SCL pins of the 80 tiny 85 controller. And the ultrasonic sensor just has a trigger and eco pins and we'll need two GPIO pins from the 80 tiny 85 to control and get readings from the ultrasonic sensor. So the trigger and eco pin is connected to GPIO pin PB3 and PB4 respectively. Now to power the entire setup, we have used a 9 volt battery, but as you know, the 8085 needs 5 volts and the ultrasonic sensor also needs 5 volts. So we have used the AMS 1117IC, which you can see over here, which is an SMD component. You can see it over here. So the AMS 1117 is used to regulate the 9 volts to 5 volts. And then apart from that, we have three resistors over here, each of 10 kilo ohms. If you take a look at the board, you can find the three resistors over here. Now, all of these are 10K resistors, but since the last one is a five band resistor, it looks different, but trust me, all the three are 10K resistors. Now, the reason for using these 10K resistor is to pull up the I2C lines, that is both the SDA and the SCL lines should be pulled high to the operating voltage, which is five volt. So we have used 10K resistors as pull up. 
And another important pull-up resistor is R5, which is also a 10K connected to the reset pin of the 8080 controller. So this reset pin of the controller should always be held high, otherwise the controller would just keep resetting itself. So that is it. I have explained most of the components except for this particular capacitor over here. So uh, this is just a 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, which is used for filtering the input voltage, sorry, filtering the output voltage that goes to the controller, the OLED, the sensor and everything. So we have not used a input filter capacitor because this is a DC power battery which should not have any ripples. So batteries DC source is the purest form of DC you can get. So we have skipped on the input filter but the output filter is used to uh, filter out any ripples that the AMS 1117 might provide. So that is it, the circuit diagram is pretty simple. Now the ultimate aim of building this project is to have it portable so that we can carry it around and measure the distance from any object. So if you need it to be portable and if you need it to be sturdy then you should definitely see how to do a PCB fabricated for this project. So this is the PCB layout for this project. Uh, as usual the Gerber file can be downloaded from the link given in the description of this video. Now I'll show you how you can get your PCBs fabricated from PCBWay. To order your PCBs from PCBWay, just get into their website PCBWay.com and you will be greeted with their homepage something like this. Then make sure you are already signed in as I am signed in already. I am just going to proceed with entering the dimensions of my PCB. In my case for this ultrasonic sensor based digital ruler, the dimension of the PCB is 60mm cross 60mm and the number of PCBs I need will be 5 pieces and it is a 2 layer PCB with 1.6 mm thickness. Now when you click on quote now you will be taken to another page where you can feed in few more details about your PCB if required. But in our case we don't need to change anything. If you are curious to have PCBs in other colors you can change the color here. The best thing about PCB Bay is that irrespective of what color solder mask you choose the pricing is going to be the same. So you can choose any color solder mask you want. After that on the right side you can see the total amount of cost you have to pay for the PCB. In this case it will be India. And I will be choosing the postal shipping because it is the cheapest. Now after I have chosen my uh, country and the mode of shipping, I will be able to see the final rupees that I have to pay to get my PCBs fabricated and it will also tell me when the PCBs will be shipped and when it will be received. Very handy if you are in a tight timeline. So once you are sure about your PCB cost and the delivery date, just click on save to cart and you will be taken to another page which lets you to upload the Gerber file. Now over here you can just click on add Gerber file and upload the Gerber file which you generated using your PCB software. If you need the Gerber file for this project again it can be found at the link given in the description. Once you upload the Gerber file just click on submit order now and the PCB way will take around 5 to 10 minutes to complete the review and after that your PCBs will be fabricated and it will be sent right to your doorstep. Within few days of ordering my PCB, I received my boards in a neatly packaged box like this one. And as you can see, the quality of these boards are really good as always. The tracks, the wires, the pads, everything are neatly fabricated and it's good to go for soldering. So I proceeded with soldering my board and my final board looks something like this. As you can see, I have used header pins uh, to mount my OLED display and the ultrasonic sensor so that I will be able to reuse them again and again. But you can even mount them directly if you wish so. Now let me quickly assemble the board and show you how the entire thing works. So first let's mount the ultrasonic sensor which is the HC uh, SR04. So the ultrasonic sensor goes over here like this. And then uh, we need to mount our OLED display which goes on top of our 8080-85IC and the regulator IC. So after everything is assembled, your board should look something like this. Now you can use the header pins here to program the 8080-85 or you can even remove it and use an external programmer if you have one. 
again the complete uh, code for this project and how to program the 80 tiny 85 all those details will be available at the link given in the description of this video as far as the firmware is considered it's pretty simple all you have to know is how to use an ultrasonic sensor and how to use an OLED display again the code is clearly explained at the link given in the description of this video so I am not going to repeat it over here once you're done with assembling all that is left is to power the project I'm going to use this 9 volt battery from Panasonic to power the project and I'm going to demonstrate to you how the entire thing works. Now for the final demonstration you can see our measurement device is placed here and I have an adapter here to measure centimeters and the scale shows the actual centimeter. Now if you can see as I'm moving from 6 to 7 the display also updates to 7 centimeter which is pretty much accurate. Now I do have to admit that the farther I go from the sensor the accuracy falls down a bit but it's pretty much reasonable and can be used for most of the applications. So that is it guys this is how the project works thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye.